morning everyone welcome to this week's video this week i did a pottery barn vessel joke um i will put it maybe there <laughs> we'll see um yeah so it was a ribbed um vase and i'm relatively happy with how it turned out it is different to the original due to my own um novice um workings with clay so it was a bit of a learning curve but um all in all i think it's actually turned out really well and i am looking forward to using it around my home so i hope you <coughs> enjoy the video enjoy the video and you get and you learn something from it um thanks for clicking watch and I would really love a subscribe and um, if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to do next please put it in the comments below cheers thanks so I'm just rolling out the clay and I cannot find after the rearrange of my studio I cannot find my rolling pin um, so I'm just using the silicon tube in the meantime so as you can see that actually is quite thin but <coughs> <coughs> sorry excuse me um i'm putting it on to or layering it on to a um the, the sprayed vase with a layer of um glue on there because I always stick my glue, um, my air dried clay down with glue. So once it was all on, that was the first test that I did of looking at the um, um, the edge I wanted, and I didn't like it, so it came off really quickly. So I tried some others, and this is the point where I got to. Um, so here I have just dipped my sausage of clay into a um oh my god the word has just left me oh that is so terrible into the um so it's it's called a slip sorry that's what it is it's called a slip so i have put um the clay into the slip and put the slip onto the bit above with my brush where I am pushing the clay the sausage clay out to and I will do this um, on the underside of it as well I will turn the vase upside down and paste it with the glue with the glue or the slip which is essentially a glue and do the same the same thing you can see the the slip going into where the sausage is so it's creating something for it to stick to a wet surface and I'm just going to push that in and even it out and smooth it out so it's kind of meeting the lip above so once I turn it up the right way you're not gonna see that that join and obviously when I turn it up the other way you're not going to see the top join either so when it comes to smoothing out that um, lip I'm pushing it out because in my head I want quite a thin a thin lip but it's coming out quite a distance So once I turn that up the other way and it is, <coughs> I continue to push more of that slip and make the join better, I'm going to get the scissors out and just um, trim up that um, the width of that 
lip a little bit which takes away the thin edge that I had but I do plan on um, sanding it so I must admit that now that I've done this part there are two things I don't probably more but two things bring to mind is that I don't like um, the way that my lips going round aren't even I should have measured it but you live and learn and I don't like the 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 thickness of the lip well I mean I don't mind it but if I look at what I was trying to copy it doesn't have a bar of it so yeah but given this is my first time doing something like this with the dry clay and essentially working with um, a clay and trying to do a pottery piece um, it hasn't turned out too bad but yeah so I'm just going on and moving forward with um, adding and thinning that edge so you can see in the top two rows that the clay is really cracked so this is because the clay that I used um, does tend to reduce and the water evaporates so it shrinks quite a bit so going forward I probably wouldn't use this brand of clay again because of that factor but um, I have managed to correct that by adding lots of layers of the, the slip to fill in those cracks and it did take several times to do it but I think it has done it So here I'm just going to fill in the final piece of that lip going round. So I've dipped it into the um, slip and I don't think I did on this occasion but on the other occasions I have actually put the slip on the bay itself, base itself also. just adding the slip where I push the blend into and pushing the sausage clay out to blend in with the rest You can see how uneven it is. So it would be an interesting um, retry of it to see if I could get those round layers um, even. And by even I mean height wise. Mm. <laughs> so they don't look as like a worm up and down. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. If a pot if I find a pot at a um, second hand store that um, I think will work with this I will try it this pot here that I'm using I picked up in Auckland and it was six dollars and I saw the exact same pot in a local shop um, second hand shop for sixteen dollars so yeah prices of um, second hand goods are getting quite expensive locally 
I did try and find the exact pot on Google to show you <coughs> the original, but I couldn't find it, so you just have to use your imagination. It did have a lid, but um, I got rid of that lid. <laughs> I decided that it didn't need a lid. Again with a snip. So you can see the thick edge of that and I want it not long and I want it thinner. But oh well. It is what it is. I was quite excited about getting to the paint stage but um, also a little bit concerned as well because it I didn't know if I was going to be able to create the paint effect that I wanted but um, oh so I've yet to add another layer or well, another line in that bottom segment because it's too wide and this top segment lip I'm going to get rid of because I just think it was too much and needed the space in there to breathe so here I've actually cut away the I actually broke it off and then sanded it down um, the top lip and you can see in the bottom right my right is <coughs> the slip that I am using. It could be a little bit more mixed up, but it's doing the job. So I actually did go over this pot two or three times with the slip just to fill in the cracks because of the clay that I was, the air dried clay that I was using. Next time I will use a different, a different clay. So that white that you can see shining through is I did try my air dried clay that I know that doesn't shrink and crack but it didn't really work with the mixes of the two clays. So moving on to the paint effect. Um, <clears throat> so that very light brown tan that you can see was a layer of the, the lime wash just to tone the um, terracotta down a little bit and there was actually close to an hour's footage of the layers of paint that I've added so believe me when I say it was layer after layer after layer and so there was it was kind of like there was layers of brown which I wiped off you can see me doing here and then a layer of white I did try these two containers that you see in the front one was a green and one was an umber uh, a sepia sorry but they didn't they didn't work so I didn't carry forward with those so I just wiped the majority of that brown off and then went in again with my sponges and my white and the brown on top of the white trying to emulate the pot that um, I saw on Pottery Barn. Um, I did really struggle with this part of it because I didn't feel like it was coming together that the way that I wanted which I must say every video but anyway <laughs> um, so I did um, after this little bit I did step away and just let it sit for a bit and let my mind just think about what I was trying to do and how I could get it that effect um, so what I did end up doing was going on with a good layer of the um, the sponges letting it dry and then I went in with 
the stenciling brush I think it's called a stipple brush it could be wrong but um, I did find that that actually gave me the effect that it was closer to what I wanted it wasn't what I wanted but it was definitely closer to what I wanted I think the difference was that it actually blended things a lot better and using the two brushes that I did it um, just the blending of the um, burnt umber over the white uh, I just really liked it so that worked I think that worked well and you can see some little splatters on there I did get a um, <coughs> a brush and just splatter some burnt um, um, umber on it so the two colors that I used on oh the sorry the three colors that I used on top of the um, terracotta clay was just a normal white white paint and it was Atelier burnt umber burnt umber yeah the brown my favorite color my favorite brown and my favorite brand of brown um, and the base layer had the um, lime wash on it I don't know how much different the lime wash actually made because of all the <laughs> subsequent layers that were on there <laughs> there must have been about ooh, maybe four five but yeah anyway I'm for a first attempt and for someone that's not used to working with air dried clay in that um, way I'm actually quite happy I haven't given it a spray or a varnish or anything it's just as is 